Hey, can I show you something? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you know what this is? I'm gonna guess like giant boar. Yeah, just because of its teeth. Close, it has big teeth. It's a carnivore, it's a bear. I wanna talk about a species that's not this one, but it's a different kind of bear. It's called a sloth bear. It's so sweet. So in 2014 at the National Zoo, a mother sloth bear had a bunch of babies. She had three babies. Congrats to her. Yeah, she ate two of them. That's horrifying. Yeah, today we're gonna talk about <laughs> animals that eat their babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So totally this is makes called sense. filial cannibalism when um, animals will eat their babies. The weird thing is that zoologists aren't really sure why they eat their babies because animal behavior is like a little tricky, but the best thing that we could do is like make an assumption, right? So wanna see a couple other animals that eat their babies? Yes. <laughs> Great, let's go. <laughs> Any guesses what this guy is? This looks, this looks rodent-like. Yes. This looks like, I'm gonna go gopher. Gopher, close, you were really close with rodents. Um, This is a rabbit. I have the rest of it. Can I bring it out? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is a cottontail rabbit, right? Can I put it down? Yeah, yeah, sure. So here's another article I found. Okay, the article title is Rabbit Cannibalism. Eating young often occurs when varmints, household pets, rodents, or some other unusual visitor enters the rabbitry soon after the doe has delivered her young. The eating of young is an instinctive survival response of the doe. If unusual people or things enter the rabbitry right after the mother lays the babies, then she'll eat Lays them. Sorry, <laughs> has babies, gives birth. <laughs> she'll eat the babies. And, but the other example is if she's very thirsty, she'll eat a baby. Do you think it's so that they can in a very roundabout way protect their babies from getting killed? Is it a, uh, but they're eating I would rather, them. I would rather eat my child than see somebody else eat my child? <laughs> that sounds a little more unusual. <laughs> I would rather eat my babies than watch someone else eat I my babies. I don't know babies. what rabbit psychology is. So those are two examples that we like don't really know. Okay. Rabbits and bears. Okay. There are two more examples that, that scientists kind of have a, a more clear idea of why they do this thing. We'll start with the bug. I was hoping it would be a bug. All right, here are the bugs. Oh my God. <laughs> These are called burying beetles. Do you want to crack one open and put it on the close up? Yes. So this is a burying beetle. Burying beetles are pretty cool because um, they bury little small invertebrates and then they lay eggs around it so that when their eggs hatch, they'll immediately have a food source that they can survive on. What type of vertebrates are we talking? Like a little mouse or something like that. Nice little mouse snack. The problem is, is they like kind of hedge their bets with the number of eggs that they lay. So they'll lay so many eggs that the, the vertebrate that they stash cannot support that many eggs. So herein lies the issue is if all of the eggs hatch and then all of them start eating that little mouse that they bury next to them, all of them aren't gonna have enough food. So a lot of the burying beetle babies um, won't survive. So to help them all survive, you just start picking them off and gobbling them up one by one. Got it. Filial cannibalism. Brutal. In insects. This is a sand goby. Let's crack it open. Good oh, job. Jeez. The tenuous grip that I have on this fish. So every sand goby male mates with two sand goby females. Polygamy, a little bit. Just a little. And the males tend to eat the largest eggs from the second female that they mate with. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's a great question. Why? <laughs> the thought is th the heck, they Kobe's. think that the largest eggs from the second female that they mate with will take the longest to develop. And in sand gobies, the fathers play a role in raising the eggs. So there's a little parental care involved. So they're like, I'm not waiting around for this big egg to to hatch. Yes. I'm not patient enough. I don't yeah. care about this child. It's gonna take too long. I don't wanna wait. I don't have time. We wanna get back in there and make more eggs, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we do? We eat the biggest eggs that take the longest to develop so that we can finish up our parental duties. No one wants to be a dad, so they just eat their babies so it doesn't take as long. Totally. If you cut down on your parental duties, you're, you're better at your parental duties, I guess. You eat the babies that take the longest to develop so you can get back at it and just do what you want to do as a sand goby male. Filial cannibalism, sad or interesting? Both. 
Okay, cool. Mostly sad. Oh, shoot. Also interesting, though. Thank you guys for watching this video. Think about watching this one and subscribe to the channel. See ya.